and yet again welcome back everybody to another bow review and comparison Andrew van Heufel from Australia reached out to me and I said look I have this old AF archery Tatar from 2012 it's a little too strong for him it's a 50 pound bow he didn't shoot it often in the last years but in the beginning he was using it quite often and he thought it might be interesting to do a comparison with the new AF Tatar. So what did I do? I reached out to AF Archer and said, listen, I want to do a comparison. And I said, okay, we send you the new Bubinga, which is this one here. Is it Bubinga? I don't know. So this is the 2024, the new one by AF Archery. So we see the differences get, of course, a nice leaf again, as you know it. You get the string and the rubber band. It's very important. It's a blue rubber band. And it's a fast string, 16 strands, 131 centimeters, the bow string. And now look at this, just for the, and what, what I like, you know, Andrew. Uh, we will get to this later. There were two nice leather thumb protectors on it. And he is making, but about this we talk in another video. Andrew, Apple Archery, makes a ton of different thumb protectors. And he sent me now a bunch to test them. And they start with, they, he gave me even a box full for my students, which is very nice, thank you different leathers I don't know even crocodile leather or something but you can even have kangaroo fur this is the fluffy one so very minimalistic thumb protectors but to this we get in a, another video now we talk about the AF archery tatar the old one and the new one and what I like with Andrew because when you have more bows and sometimes you don't know what your bow is all about he made a small Look at this, dun, 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 dun. secret messages. It's, did I say Tatar? I meant Ming. Oh. So, delete the word Tatar in the beginning. This is AF Ming, not a Tatar. Why do I say Tatar? I don't know. So it's the AF Ming from 2012. It has a length knock to knock from 59 inches. He wrote the brace side, the arrow pass, the weight, the draw length, and the grain per pound on this notification. So we talk about the Ming. I even wrote Ming. Why do I say Tata? I don't know. Didn't do a review since a while. Huh? So this is the notification from him. But now, look at this. The old one. The new one. And that's quite a difference. Look at this. In the handle. The general handle shape is not so, oh, so much. The, the, oh, Jesus, come on here. So the old one is behind and the new one is in front. So you see both have a slight swing in the handle, but then look at this, how the new one goes straight and the sears aggressively up and the old one goes way more down. It's way more soft, way more smooth. And what you have is, the limp of the old one compared to the new one. The old limbs are a little wider as it looks, or maybe it just looks like and it's not. Let's see, how can you put them together? Can't tell. What of course you see directly is the arrow pass. The old one very wide, the new one very narrow. The old one is more likely a non-contact and the new one has a little string bridge on it and a nice leather handle. The old one has a yeah, leather handle too and a an, uh, race skin, arrow pass and with the new one we have these two inlays here so it's very nice. <laughs> so what can I tell you from the 2012 is 59 inches and the 2024 is 58 and a half so almost the same length. Bracelet of the old one is seven three quarters. With the new one, we'll figure out. The arrow pass of the old one is 25 millimeters. The new one has 17 millimeters, so that's quite substantial. The old one weighs 420 grams. The new one, 400. 
The draw length of this one is supposed to be 31 inches. At least Andrew said so. The new one does 34 inches. Yoo-hoo! Then we have Grandpa Pounder Dunno with the new one. The string of the old one is 52 inches. From the new one it's 51.6. So kind of roughly the same, give or take. <laughs> Pretty good. So we will do, but you see already the sears, the elegance in the sears of the new one compared to the old one. It's just, it's something. And even the thickness of the sears, so 12 years of difference makes a big difference. You can have now the, the Ming in black, then it's $126. And you can have it here in Bubinga, like this one then it's $226, which is mm, nice. Then you have 20 to 50 pounds. Then, of course, you can modify your bow now to your liking with veneer, $30. Takedown version, $70, is kind of almost worth it. It's a quite long bow. In takedown, you get it really short and only $70 more. You can have carbon core, $40, you know, different and handle and, but you just check on the website. You can really customize the bow now to your liking. I like the feel of the new one and I can't wait to shoot. It's a pretty look, the bubinga here. And on the back, you see the bamboo. The handle is just nice. But we will do, of course, a little shootout comparison with the Odon, which is kind of like, matte and a little more rough you know this is just you can see that was the beginning and this is where we are right now and this is just a different beast beautiful so andrew thank you so much for sending this bow to me for this idea made me possible to get my hands on this one i think even my patrons voted once for the new ming so or maybe after the review i will give it to my patrons depends how much i like this bow <laughs> For the rest, I told you now everything. The rest you can check out on AF Archery's website. Incredible. So this is such two different bows, but I suppose once you string them, they look very similar. But we see this when I shoot them. I get back to you in a second. So now you saw them on strong. Now have a look. The AF Ming 2012. I guess they will look almost the same as they are strong, I guess. So this is this one, now we get the other one. And here we go with the Ming 2024. What a different bow. So, a little more tricky to string because it's a little curvier. But, same, same. So, and I have a look. The old Ming and the new Ming. So, length I said is almost the same. Brace head is the same, and then you see the new one behind goes down here earlier and goes out a little longer here. The older one has here a longer curve. See that? And in general, wider limp on the old one. But for the rest, not so much different, no? Yeah, quite, quite different. Let's see how they perform. And again, I shoot a thumb protector made by Andrew. So let's see the old one. No, it goes to the left. Unexpected. Strong. He's a little too strong for me, 50 pounds at 28. But you hear, there's a lot going on. A lot of vibration and you feel it. Oh my God, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, loads. And I would say 28, 29, 30, 31. And then this bow starts really stacking the old one. Now the new me. I shoot now the same arrows first, 32 inches, to see what this bow is doing. 
easy oh, set of shot. Easy peasy, 32. Really easy. So sounds the same, but oops. One, two, three, four. Done. Nice. But AF rights on the website, you can draw this bow up to 34 inches. And then it would be a nice bow. If it would do it, let's see. It gets a little stiff, but I guess we get there. And accurate. This narrow arrow pass, very good. So, the old Ming, 2020-12. You see and you feel it's rough and ready, but this bow is still working. Ah, goes to the left. I think the arrows are too stiff. Huh? Mm, ah, you only need to do a little cut. Oh, that's the wrong arrow. This one. Works, kicks a little, but if for 2020-12, great. But 2024, look at this. Look and feel and see the difference. The handle already way nicer. The, the do I need to say more. Nice. More forgiving. So even if your release is not on point, but this is just wow, a wow bow and a beautiful bow. I mean, look at this, just nice. Ui, here is a little heavy there, 650 grain. Oops, ah, distance gets a little. And you need to have always well, the same draw and it works. 40 pounds at 28. You draw this bow at least 33 inches, means five inches more, roughly 12 pounds more. So we had 52. Good morning. The arrows are 460. No, oh yeah. Wobble, wobble. If I look at this draw, what a pretty bow and shoots nicely. So there you can learn long draw already with 34 inches. Nice. This one is 400 spine, it's way heavier, but I don't know how heavy. Oh, you heard that? Too stiff, most probably. First one, I don't know, a little heavier, five, six hundred gray. Oh, you can see this 155, yeah. 460 grain. 184, 182, it's not bad, huh? it's fast enough at uh, 460 and 50 pounds, so 9 grain, and not max draw, this bow doesn't feel like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, so there's, yeah, after 33, the bow gets stiff, so you might maybe not want to max it out to 34, but 33, easy and smooth, and there is, look at this, there's no slag, a little bit, then it starts, and it starts nicely. Draw curve is just really smooth. Very well done, AF.
Yeah. That's what it should. You see the one standing in the sun? Let's try. Oh, okay. No, it's not so easy. So what can I say? The old one, of course, is nice, but you feel it, it's aged, it's rough and ready. The handle is not there yet. The handle is already a way different shape, way nicer. 12 years in developing. And even the sear transitions, when you check here, this one ends here. From the new one it ends here so we have a longer transition on both sides so you get a way smoother draw but for the time being awesome and you can see as long as you treat your bow properly it will last you and this is only wrong stringing to light arrows or overdrawing which break it and with the new one you see 12 years later this development everything here more sleek but not more weak the handle is nice and big, solid to grasp. The arrow pass is very narrow, the limbs are more narrow in this direction. Good stiff and in this direction relatively stiff. The old one was here, oh, nothing. And here nothing, so that was just a stiff brick. That's why only 31 inches draw and a little rough. But this one here, such a refined beauty. Shoots nice, way less vibration. So you barely, in the hand you don't even feel it. You have it here for three, four seconds, but not more. And then you have the build quality, obviously, like we know it now from AF since a while. Let me look at this. Huh? Pretty bow. It's a pretty bow. I like this one. Huh? Let me look at Look at this curve here. And then this fine sear. And the sear, the, the, the head is not big, very thin, very minimal, but still sturdy. It's working. You have your string bridge as you know it. This bow is a beauty. Draws nicely. So you can practice your long draw with it. The ones who were in Eching on the weekend, they know now what to do to get a longer draw. Awesome, nice bow. Price I mentioned, I think I leave the link in the description. Awesome. Conclusion, if you have an old AF bow, be happy, they are still great. But if you wanna upgrade, really consider that the shooting experience is so much better than with the old one. Still nice, I said, rough and ready, good to go. Not a bad bow, but compared to the new brother is just not going to work anymore so this one i really love this one so thank you very much afr for sending this one thank you andrew for sending this one and your thumb protectors they're already in use here video is coming soon about all his thumb protectors with all his leather and fur options and what have you coming soon i always need to time because i'm already weekend i'm gone to switzerland so not so much time right now that's it. If you have any questions about these bows, about the thumb rings, leave them in the comment section. If you want to tell me something else, leave it in the comment section. If you liked the video, you can press this like button. If you did not so far, and I have to tell you again, 80% of my watchers are not subscribed. It doesn't cost anything. You just click the subscribe button. Helps the algorithm, helps the channel. Thank you very much. So. Go check this one out, a really nice bow. So, and I always, like I said last weekend, you at least need to have three bows, one short draw, 28 inches, one medium draw. This is already almost long draw, but I will still put it in medium. Medium is for me 32, 33 inches. 34 is a little stiff. Maybe it opens up later, but for now I would say 33 inches nice. And then you need something with 35, 36 inch draw, a long draw bow. And this is just a good 
on the upper end medium draw bow. Beautiful, price-wise fully okay. Shipping is always a hassle, but don't blame the companies for the shipping costs. They cannot do anything against it. It costs what it costs. It's not their money, it's the money of the couriers. And sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not. That's it. I paid last time from Alibo for a package, $210 shipping. This is like, but what can I do? Nice bow. So, thank you, F. Thank you, Andrew. It was a great idea. Thanks for reaching out. Your thumb rings will come very soon. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching, for subscribing and liking. I'll catch you in the next one.